Hello. Um, it's called My Life as a Movie. Establishing shot. Ah, the gr lush green trees of Central Park in spring. Zoom into the Upper West Side. Listen to the stringy score that will lock in your poor head. Oh, look, there's me. I walk early, talk early, and soon I have sex. At 16, I have a baby, and my beautiful life is gone. I give up the little bundle. My parents die of shame. No one even goes to their funerals. Act two, where you don't get up, not even to pee or get popcorn. I'm in for it now, grown up and alone. I live in a squalor apartment in the wrong side of town. Even then, I have to screw the landlord for rent. At night, roaches crawl in my ears. I skip lunch for a week and buy mosquito netting, enough to fit under the mattress and over me. Each night, I zip myself in, but they gnaw through anyway. I wake up crying. I open the sooty window and squeeze out to the ledge. It just so happens a suicide cop sees me from the park across the street. He could be played by Al Pacino, Circa Serpico. I know he's older now, but they can do wonders with digital. The last part, he saves me. We marry. We are happy, happy, happy. Then, my ex, then his ex-wife returns and I kill her. I send her a poison grapefruit and she eats it, the idiot. Al has to arrest me, puts me in the slammer and goes on. I either get killed in prison fighting over chocolate pudding or I don't. Who knows? Maybe they've got a sequel planned. You and your friend watch the credits roll. You say you like it up to the part where I'm happy. Your friend wants his money back. <laughs> and that's a true story. Okay. True story. My husband's mistress. Once a month, we meet for lunch. She orders watercress and Melba toast. She must taste small and sexual. Me, I order fat, drippy burgers and lusty <laughs> chocolate pie. I order so many plates, I have to arrange them on the table like numbers on a clock. Your husband calls me every night, she says, her ribs poking through her dress. I take a long, savory bite from my three o'clock plate, a deep, doughy biscuit, silky with butter. I know, I tell her, if you'd go away, maybe he'd make love to me. She swishes a lemon wedge around in her skinny water glass and tells me about the sex they have, how he swirls his tongue into every place he can taste her. That's when it's gone too far and I aim my five o'clock pot roast at her and she flinches like I pointed a gun. Which I only did that first time. I found her number in my husband's guilty cell phone. I called her and said I was the power company and we had to come over and check her line. When I got to her floozy apartment, she was sitting at the vanity, perfume bottles, bottles and cold cream jars. Didn't even scream when she saw the gun, just asked me if she could fix her face so she'd look decent for the cops. I thought of her lying there, glamour dead, and that's when I asked her to lunch. Thought it would be so much more fun, the two of us meeting like this once a month, the both of us bringing our hungers. Thank you. All right, all right. <laughs>